Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Hello, my friends. Thanks for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dave. Outstanding. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. I think we have what could be termed an ass kicker beer. Now you may hear my next door neighbor over there with his snow blower. Hey, it's that time of year, but he seems to use that thing a lot. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we have an Ohio beer here. This is from the Mad Tree Brewing Company. They're located in Cincinnati, Ohio. And this is the Thunder Snow. An appropriate name for winter. What do you think? The Thunder Snow is described as a spiced Scottish ale. It's not for lightweights. Oh, no way, baby. It checks in at 8.5% alcohol by volume. Sounds like an ass kicker to me. And the beer is only two weeks old. So with that said, it should really be kicked. Uh, what do you think? We're going to use this lovely, lovely glassware. Isn't that lovely? Yes, sure is. That's from Speed Glass. That's part of the Speed Glass glassware series. Uh, anybody who doesn't know anything about Spieglau, they're like the pinnacle of beer glassware. But I have to tell you, if you have kids around the house, you should not buy this glassware. Yeah, because you'll be really pissed once it gets broken because uh, it's rather pricey. Yeah. With that said, I knew this was going to pour out dark. Uh, yeah, baby, a Scottish ale. Oh, mama. This is going to be a good one. Whew. Now, I allowed this to sit out on the countertop. Mm, probably about a half hour, according to that clock. Yeah, about a half hour. You have to allow this beer to warm up substantially. You try to drink this straight from the fridge, it's not going to work out. Let me set this down here for a minute, get a little bit better grip on that. There we go. Uh, coming out of the can, pouring out of the can, it was a very beautiful dark amber color. But once it gets into the glassware, I think you can see the results. Yeah, you can see a little bit of amber color around the bottom here, but not much anywhere else. has a very lovely one-finger uh, tan-colored head on there. I don't know about the carbonation. I can't see. It's... it's uh, it's very opaque. No oh, man. It kind of reminds me of the Christmas beers because it's got nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger, vanilla. You, you just get it right up in your face. And, of course, there's some lovely dark roasted malt in there I'm picking up as well. So before I drink this, I'm going to have to thank the brewers down there in Cincinnati, Ohio, from Mad Tree Brewing for coming up with this concoction. Yeah, it's a concoction. Yeah, lovely indeed, because we're going to enjoy every drop, baby. It's going to be like Maxwell House. It's going to be good to the last drop, Mama. Thank them, and thank you for watching. Cheerio. Mmm. 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 My goodness. <laughs> I picked the proper beer for the nightcap because it's getting a little late, at least by my standards. You know, I'm a geezer. You know, geezers don't stay up late. They go to bed early. They get up early. Of course, in my case, I don't get up early. I go to bed early, get up late. Yeah, what the hell? It's what you can do when you're retired. You don't have to worry about time clocks and bosses and all that other BS. Oh, man. I let that sit on my on my palate for a few minutes. Man, my taste buds are going crazy back there. They're doing dances. Yeah, they're standing up doing dances. Everything I described in the aroma is definitely there in the flavors. Preponderance of vanilla and nutmeg. Wow. I love vanilla. My grandmother used to cook almost everything with vanilla. <laughs> Cinnamon too, baby boy. 
a faint hint of uh, bitter chocolate in there too. I'm going to go along with that bitter chocolate. Leaving some lacing there on the side of the glass where I sipped it from. I don't know how well you could see that. This beer could have done with probably another 10 or 15 minutes on the counter. You want this to be about 55 degrees when you drink it. I'd say right now it's still from, from the feel of this glass where I'd still say it's, it might be like 48 or so. Hey, <clears throat> a lot of people will tell you that after you've been drinking beer for a very long time, you can definitely judge temperatures of beer. This is just a little on the cold side for this style of beer, but it still tastes quite lovely. I'd say in another 15 minutes, this beer would be perfecto. Yeah. So if you're going to buy this beer, I would recommend that you leave it out on the countertop uh, in a nice warm spot. Matter of fact, on top of the refrigerator is the best place. That's, that's probably the warmest place in the kitchen. Uh, put it on top of the uh, refrigerator for about 45 minutes and then come back and enjoy the liquid loveliness. Yeah. This is a very smooth and easy drinking beer. What makes this beer super dangerous? You have to keep in mind this is eight and a half percent alcohol. No trace of that whatsoever. And the reason that I look funny drinking this is I'm trying to put as much of my hand on the glassware as possible so I can get some heat transfer going into this beer. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to tell you this is a five-star beer. It's solid gold. I just can't imagine something much better than this, especially tonight here in northeast Ohio. Uh, the wind chill is minus eight degrees. So on a cold night like this, you want something that's going to warm you up a little bit. Although this doesn't really feel warming to me, but at 8.5%, it's eventually going to be warming. It'll put me right to sleep. The Thunder Snow. This is from the Mad Tree Brewing Company down there in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I say down there because I'm up here in Cleveland. So, yeah, it's downstate. <laughs> All right, my friends, if you can find that beer... You should absolutely try it. It just hit the shelf a couple weeks ago, so it's in full supply. Try it. You'll like it. With that said, as always, Dr. Dave says, life is short. Be happy. Never a truer statement. Until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina, and they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they it, it charge me $2.00. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them, and they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio, they specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. 
Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it less it weighs less uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club. So I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me fourteen ninety eight to uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, but I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. 
I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.